Well, hello, my joyful subbies. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, here to bring you another DIY. So if DIYs on a budget is what you're looking for, then keep watching. And as always, it's time to craft. Let's go. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. So what I'm going to be doing is creating three different styles of wooden planters using the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. I've already created two off camera, but this is the third one. It is the miniature planter. And all I did was glue, I think five on one side, five on the other, and then three in the center or four on one side, four on a, you just watch the video, you'll see. And this turned out really, really cute guys. All three of these planters turned out cute. I decided to leave them all in their natural state. I'm glad that I did because when I say they are beautiful, they are so adorable. And with this piece, I'm just making sure that I align it. Um, I did have to keep adding hot glue. I should have just turned the glue gun up to the high temp function, but I decided to just, hey, just keep going. And if you want to manipulate this piece a lot, I would encourage you, if you recreate it, to use um, a combination of wood glue and um, hot glue or some other type of stronger adhesive. It's up to you. And so I needed to cut down a piece of the tumbling tower block because as you can see there, it was too large, so I pulled out my miter saw that I purchased from Lowe's and cut down that tower, tumbling tower block to fit that little extra space that I had there. And now I'm making like handles, fold handles for this piece all the way around just to give it a cute little look to dress it up a little bit. And there's the three different style planters. And then I wanted the first planter to kind of look a little different than the last one that I did. And so I created like a, a handle for using these tumbling tower blocks. And I did just for the record use two boxes of the tumbling tower blocks to create this piece. And I had two left over, which I used in the third DIY for tonight and as you can see I've created the handles and now I'm taking these half bees and I am just adding them to the top of the handle to the bottom of the handle and then all around on four sides I want to welcome you back to my channel all of my new and returning subscribers I pray that each and every one of you have been enjoying your Super Bowl Sunday. I pray that if you are in the playoff, if your team is in the playoff, that your team won. I'm not a big Super Bowl or a big um, football person, but hey, I like watching the halftime show and I must say Usher did a great job. And what you see me doing is the same that I've done in the first one. I'm just adding those half bees around to each hanger. And then I've decided to do this one a little different. And I just added like four bees going down on either side with two in the middle. And what I wanted to do was bring texture to this piece and give this a different little look. And I think by adding the bees that really enhance the look of these pieces. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload anything to my channel. And as you can see, I was trying to toy around with that rope, but decided against it. However, you will see it again. And now I'm just styling my planter 
with are all three of the planters using Dollar Tree, Michaels, and Walmart florals. These spring florals are so pretty. I really, really enjoyed working with them and I think the projects turned out beautifully. I really don't have much commentary for you guys because this, this project is really just self-explanatory. So I will allow some of the music to play while you watch me just stuff this piece with florals. I'm going to jump back in right here guys I forgot to glue down this whole section <laughs> I had to go back and I wanted to warm up the wood so that it would adhere really well so that's why you saw me with the heating tool warming up the wood and adding the hot glue and now you'll see me just like I said just adding the spring florals to the pieces And totally unrelated to crafting, you see my Timu hoodie? I think it's really cute. It says, real, real women hustle hard. It's really of good quality if you want to go on Timu and order it. I know a lot of people don't like Timu, but I haven't had a bad experience with them. So I can't not encourage people to go and purchase anything from there it's your choice the Spanish moss guys came from Carolina pottery And as we prepare for the reveal, let's go to DIY number two. So I have this little barrel shape uh, sign that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. And initially I was gonna do it in a two-tone color, but I decided against it and you'll see what I decided to do instead. I am using the Waverly brand chalk paint in the color plaster and I will be giving this piece at least two and a half good coats of this paint. I did not tear the paper off the front of it. Again, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hello, welcome. I am Joy, your Chief Crafter. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload anything to my channel. And also, if you did not hit the like button on your way in to watch the video, Please make sure that you click on the like button on your way out and also share my video with your friends and family 
so that they can experience the joy of crafting. And now I'm creating the planter to hold the florals that I will be using for this piece. I am going to be using some of those hanging florals from the Dollar Tree as well as some florals that I purchased from Michaels. Or was it Walmart? If you recognize these florals, just let me know where you saw them at in the comment section of this video. I buy so many that sometimes I forget where I get them all from. And I am painting this crate that I purchased from the Dollar Tree in that plaster color paint by Waverly. All the paint that I purchased, guys, can be purchased at Walmart and or... Um, I get my paint from Walmart, Michaels, and Dollar General. Where else I buy paint from? Just about anywhere that sells paint. I will be distressing this piece, and you'll see that in the upcoming clip. And as you can see, I ended up painting the middle section. But again, keep watching because I will be adding some texture to this piece. Now I'm trying to keep a straight hand and paint this brown section using the Burnt Umber paint by Apple Barrel. Again, this paint can be purchased at Walmart. And now I'm just going around the outer edges and painting it using the burnt umber paint. And as you can see, I'm distressing the crate. And if distressing is not your thing, feel free to just leave it um, the just natural. I like distressing. I like form house decor. I like boho boho decor. Um, um, the rustic farmhouse, farmhouse, boho, mid-century, modern, very little of that. But as you can see, I have unravel the jute rope that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to layer this center section with this rope this is going to provide it with texture and I'm going to make sure I use almost every strand Yeah, I was like, why do I still have my gloves on? I don't need them now. You'll see me eventually take the other one off. Again, guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload anything to my channel. Now, I did promise you guys a valentine's day diy that will be the diy that's coming up next 
So if you are still here with me at this point in this video, just make sure you type in the comment section, Usher. That way I know you watched the Super Bowl halftime show and that you have managed to stick around and watch this video this far. Guys, have you prepared for Valentine's Day that's coming up? I think it's Thursday. I haven't. Not really. Um, we really don't do much of celebrating of Valentine's Day, to be honest. My husband and I usually take an annual anniversary trip in May. Our anniversary is May 24th. And this year we will be celebrating 33 years of marriage. We've been together 35 years. And now you see me take these half beads and I am covering up the holes where the hangers were for this piece. And I will be adding it to the top and bottom of this piece. Guys, I really, really like using these half beads. Can you tell? Now, I'm trying to measure this. Now, I'm pretending, guys. I'm pretending like I know what I'm doing. But let me put that ruler down and tell me to draw a straight line on a sheet of paper. I will still manage to get that thing crooked. <laughs> I'm doing it for the tube. I'm doing it for the tube, okay? I'm capping right here. <laughs> Guys, at this point in the video, I hope that you are enjoying the content so far. And so now you see me getting ready to secure the planter portion or the crate to this piece I don't even know why I went outside that line the crate line but I did and it's okay and now you see me adding back in the pool noodle because it is acting as the foam so that I can secure the florals and I will speed this up a little bit so you won't see every every um stem that i put in there and it should be coming up very soon and as you can see i added the hanging bushes or the hanging stems i think this this wow look gives this piece character it's very pretty in person even my son said mom that's really really cute and now we're going to move on to the Valentine's Day DIY. This is DIY number three. And what I'm going to do is just paint this piece using the plaster color paint by Waverly. It is a chalk paint that you can purchase from Walmart. I am going to give this a good coating of this paint, including the rust color handle. And now I'm going to dry it using my heating tool. And what we're going to do is make a rustic wooden heart picture frame decor. And 
and as you can see I'm just making sure that I got the handle fully coated And now I'm taking some of that burnt umber paint and a baby wipe to spread it over because the baby wipe will act as, and the paint will act as a stain. You will see a lot of crafters do this. This helps eliminate odors. And for me, this works out perfect because I have a lung disease and it prevents me from inhaling any odors. And now I am just really just not even putting a full coat of paint around these picture frames. They come four in a pack from Hobby Lobby. I did get these 40% um, off. It's been years ago, about a year or two ago. So it's not years, about a year ago. And that was my son coming over to give me a hug on my shoulder. And as you can see, I am just dry brushing some of that uh, plaster color paint on top of these hearts just to distress it a bit. And now I'm taking those extra two tumbling tower blocks that I had left out the pack and painted those using the burnt umber paint and just dry brushing some of the burnt umber paint around the picture frame. Now I'm distressing this piece. And I'm toning it down by just sanding it off. And then I'm just wiping it off. The dust from the sanding, drying the board. And now I'm getting ready to glue down the tumbling tower block. Because this is going to be raised decor using these hearts. And I did distress the tumbling tower blocks because you could... It was sticking out through the little holes in the heart. And now I'm just trying to see how I want to affix the picture frames. And I'm using one of the clear thumb tacks that you can purchase from Dollar Tree. I was drawing a blank. Now I was going to do it in a diagonal pattern, but then I ended up putting them even at the top. But then I said, hmm, <laughs> maybe I should have left them like in a diagonal pattern instead of hanging them side by side. And you'll see what I mean coming up. And then I'm just you know, adding some of these beautiful pink floors that I purchased from Michael. Or was it Walmart? <laughs> I can't remember, guys. And I was just pressing down on the thumbnail using the, uh, one of the larger tower blocks. But look at this, guys. Here's the reveal. Aren't these spring planters beautiful? I think they turned out lovely. They're cute. And let me hear you say it. Good job, guys. I think this turned out lovely. I think keeping the wood in a natural state kind of enhanced the beauty of this floor. And here's the second one. This is the wild brush. You know how when you walk in, you, in some of the Victorian style homes, you'll see like um, the ivy all over the front of the houses. That's kind of the look that I was going for. And then I just threw in some of these, these orange or peachy color florals. And here is the Valentine's Day planter, picture planter decor. I think this turned out very cute. I did not put any pictures in there because I wanted to get this up for you guys tonight. But guys, I pray that you have enjoyed watching these three different DIYs. I pray that your team won the Super Bowl. And until the next DIY, bye guys.